Hey guys, we're the Buzz Boys. My name's Irvin. My name's Forrest. I'm Pavan. I'm Kareem. And today we're gonna go into our design pattern, the last phase of our implementation, and the testing. I'm gonna go over our design pattern, the cohesion, and coupling of our class diagram. So our class diagram actually has high coupling and high cohesion. So we opted for an observer pattern because all our data actually originate from the MARNA API, which is the main, the main subject interface. The bus query then on is created from that, and it's the concrete subject that is observed by the info window the, and the MARCA observer. So actually, the, the info window is created from the mark, from MARCA observer and um, that's where all the, the coordinates and the arrival time are gonna be saved and originated from. The map observer's interface is also um, another one that is associated with the marker, the marker interface to create the info window. Uh, I've done the testing this assignment. Um, we worked on the use case login and that was done in PHP. So we have to use HTML unit to test it. One of the main functions inside this code is sign in user, which takes in the parameters of username and password, which is basically logging in a user into the application. The two objects that were used are username, a string object used to log in into the app. It could be partitioned um, as an empty string, incorrect string, or a correct string. A password is a concealed object, concealed string object used to log in into the application. It could be partitioned just as well an empty string, an incorrect password string, an inc and a correct string. And both of these are already added into the database as this is the login use case. Um, the specifications for this test is a sign-in user, a correct username with an empty string. Any empty strings will result in an error. An incorrect field will also result in an error because our database will automatically check against um, its own um, copies and authenticate and if it's correct then it'll let the user in so basically it's an end relationship if both fields are correct and both fields are not null then it will let you log in and grant full access into the application so i did the arrival time implementation so the this method is part of it where it estimates the arrival time between the bus's current location and its next stop and the user input stop. So this first part right here creates the request that is sent to Google's API in order to get the arrival time for its, uh, for, for its next stop. It goes into the direction service stop route function and this, and then it outputs an arrival time and a distance, which is then sent to HTML and it's put on, displayed on the web page as a marker and an info window. And then we do then we do it again with another request and set and send it to the direction service to get the arrival time for the user inputted stop. And then that is also sent to the web page in the form of a marker and info window. We do it we do it in a nested format because that way we can check for errors at one stage and then easily terminate the process if there's an error at one point. So I worked on the uh, implementation again. I was just finishing up our uh, class diagram, implementing some things such as the user and signing in, registering and signing out of a user. Right here, I just have a uh, sequence diagram of the basic behavior and the uh, lifespan of users registering. And basically, a user can come onto the registering page and fill in and send their credentials, which is handled by a PHP script. Um, that is just used to check the credentials uh, with our database to see if a username already exists by that name. And if uh, a username doesn't already exist, it will, uh, it will return a success message and redirect the user to the sign-in page. And if the username is already taken, then it will uh, return a failure and inform the user of that. Over here is the PHP script of what's going on, the user name, password, email, and name that the user enters on the register page is stored in a uh, post method that's sent to this 
DB handler PHP script, and we have a prepared SQL statement to uh, stop from any SQL injections, even though it's not necessary, and we execute uh, and bind parameters to that um, prepared statement to register a user and store them in the database. So in this assignment, I actually learned about um, figuring patterns in the system features and uh, how data is shared across a system. And I think it will help me in the future better analyze other systems that may have similar patterns and um, understand from how the data is shared what, what specific pattern fits it. My, I think the hardest part was um, picking the actual design pattern between, um, I think, wrapper and observer because our system had both of those features. And um, from there on, it was easy to go and visio and do the actual job. In this assignment, uh, I learned about the test case script and about null restrictions and, uh, with the, and around the bugs. In the future, I hope to be more careful around uh, bugs and how I implement my code. In my future jobs, I really want to use my test case script that I learned in the assignment. And the worst experience that I, that I encountered in this assignment was doing the test case script over and over for each and every. So one of the major things I learned doing the implementation this time was uh, in some more intricacies of the Google API and the geolocation functions, and also the interesting things you can do with PHP and HTML using those two together to make interesting uh, web functions. In the future, I plan to better implement PHP, HTML, and APIs given using my knowledge that I accrued through this assignment. And the hardest experience I had for this, uh, for this assignment was getting the PHP to do exactly what I wanted it to, because it was one of the biggest hurdles I had to overcome in order to get the functions to actually work. So in this assignment, um, I learned about the importance of sequence diagrams and modeling a system's behavior and describing it to someone. I've also learned about the notion of SQL injections and the need for security measures. And I think in the future, that's going to be the most important thing I take away, is that need for security in projects in class as well as in work. And I think um, one of my worst experiences was dealing with maintaining a session for a user once they logged in. They had, their state had to persist amongst pages, and that was very complicated.